Uh, salut tout le monde. Uh, it's Gael. I made a vlog of sorts um, about my top surgery experience. I had my top surgery in Cleveland, Ohio with Dr. Daniel Medali. This video is for anyone who is having anxiety going into this, going into top surgery. Hopefully watching my friends and I just goof around will help you be at ease um, going into top surgery. By the way, I'm two weeks post-op and everything went perfectly fine, no complications, no hematomas, like things are good, so enjoy. Having periods where I'm like really fucking nervous, my heart starts beating fast because I'm scared and then like it goes away and then I'm like, oh my god, I'm so excited. I wish I could see like another trans bro who's also going to get top surgery and I thought we could like hug it out. I have to stop taking tea after my fourth month on tea shot and then I'll start back up that week that I have top surgery because I have it on a Monday and then I'll continue that that Thursday. It's 4.30. What you say about that? I say, I say, God, man. God, man. On our way to Cleveland, Ohio, top surgery. A big cafe, saw the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> You're just eating for chimneys out here. This is a shout out to the Fab Five. Don't my favorite. Don't yeah. Don't It still hasn't hit me yet. It doesn't feel real. I feel like I'm just on vacation right now. Is it, it cold? Pebbles. No, it's Ooh, gorgeous. Oh, it's warm. It's beautiful. But that nice, you get that nice little massage with the pebbles. Oh, yeah. Come here because I'm scared. I'm scared of the Loch Ness monster coming to get me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> My titties. Oh, it's not salty, it's a lake. <laughs> when in cliff, when in cliff, go to the lake. <laughs> Look at this! Damn! Welcome to my crab, my clay. I love it! Look at that handsome. Who is that handsome walking on out of here? Look at them legs. I'm just obsessed with you. Was there a light in there? Yeah. Oh, it's like the set for the conjuring or something. <laughs> I'm fucked up right now, dude. 
We've been having dreams, my love. Mm -hmm. I want to know. So I have one dream. Well, this was yesterday. Yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. at like five in the morning. And I had this dream that, like, I went in. I think I already told you. But I I went in to the hospital. And, like, um... Like, then I came out, and then I had my chest and bill. And I was like, um, I was like, oh, they didn't give you any nipples. And I was like, oh. I'm like, that's fucked up. That's a nightmare. And I was like, fuck up. I was like, damn, thank God no nipples. And then I had another cup surgery. I don't know where to put the bacon. We're like, you know, I went in, I'm like, and I came out. I don't know. And they didn't do the double mistake to me, they gave me the keyhole, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, damn it, no. It's like, I don't want no saggy titties. <laughs> because they only do the keyhole if you're like, like an A. Are like, yeah, small a enough. Cup. And I was like, I do not have an A. I was like, damn it, I'm gonna have saggy titties. <laughs> That's why you were fucking around <laughs> yesterday <laughs> saying you ain't got no nipples. Well, yeah, and then, you know, just having like dreams about leaving the program and like people in the program looking at my life and like you see that you, you see know, just, like people like yeah like messing with me and me being mad and I think it's me filtering them out of my life pretty much like okay it's over now let's filter this breakup properly yeah <laughs> Like, damn, I don't want to ever see some of these people ever again. <laughs> so they show up in nightmare form. They're going to watch this and be like, oh, me too. And I'm be like, bitch, I'm talking about you. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. Ain't you fucking worried, you. <laughs> the night before, I had one arm swollen. And I was like, mm. it makes sense, you know, because I'm just sitting in one place. And this is like, like a sausage on me. A sausage casing on me. Over my juice in there. But then, you know, tonight, this morning when I woke up, I had like squeezed myself too tight, so both of my arms were like super jumbo sized sausages. Oh my god, those! And it was like piercing into my armpit. I was like, ah, this hurts. It was like cutting off my circulation. I was like, yeah, mm, can't. I didn't know how what to do, so I got the two pillows on either side, and I propped up my arm because mm. the drains are like bothering me. Yeah. Oh, you're giving me crispy. You're giving me fluffy. You're giving me bacon. Hey! Hey, you got your whole ass potatoes. You got all those potatoes. I took that Queer Eye <clears throat> Fab Five quiz from BuzzFeed that they made on my YouTube video. Who are you? No, it's not. It's not who are you. It's who would you date? Oh. And I got Corona. I was like, damn. Oh. So hey. I thought I was gonna get Jonathan Fasio. It's because you are Jonathan, but you oh, would date Karamo. Okay. 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 Handle it. There you go. Oh. Handle it, handle it. Handle it. Here we go, here we go. Slow mo, slow mo, slow mo. Just put it in. Uh, I just love seeing you eat. <laughs> my so this is my chest. Two weeks post up. That's just ointment, but okay, clean. And I'll also show you pictures. So that's my left side, and then my right side. They're just a tiny bit irritated because I just took off the strips, so. Like, tomorrow they'll be much more chill. I had a really awesome experience. Um, I didn't actually, like, really talk to 
um, Dr. Medali because he doesn't really like show up in the process. He's like there to tell you like, hey, this is what's going to happen. It's like five minutes. He like drunk marks you up. But then that's it. Like I, I saw him when I was in the operating room, but he was like doing something else and I didn't really talk to him. I didn't actually say like a sentence to him. I was just like, yes, okay, that was it. And then everyone else, like the nurses and everything, that's who I really talked to. So, but that whole team is like super awesome. Would highly recommend. Um, I stayed at an Airbnb for like a week and a half with my best friend and my partner and my mother. I'm like so shocked that my mother was there because I wasn't planning on her being there. I wasn't out to her, so I was like trying to figure out a way to tell her, but then she found out. It was cool. She was really sweet and helped me do everything. Helped me pull down my pants, cooked good meals, helped me wash my face, helped me brush my teeth, and I couldn't have asked for like a better top surgery experience. Recovery was like so easy. Like, oh my god, I was like so scared about top surgery for like a really long time. Like, even just rolling into the operating room, I could like feel my heart beating everywhere in my body. And like, I could hear my heartbeat in my ears. Like, I was just so fucking scared. But then it was just like over. They rolled me into the room and I thought that they were going to put the mask on. And then I was gonna be like awake, just waiting to like fall asleep. But the lady was just like, oh, I'm gonna keep it right here. Didn't actually put it on my face. So I was just like, huh, that's silly. I wonder why. And then all of a sudden I just woke up and when I had no titties, it was great. And then I like didn't have any pain because they inject you with local anesthetic and then they give you pain meds. But I actually wasn't in any pain. I just like took it because just in case I felt pain, but I never, and also I just like to get high, so, but like, didn't actually experience any pain related to my chest, and I think largely it's because, well, he's a good surgeon, and also like, they cut your nerves, so I can't really feel anything, it's like numb. All the pain that I got was like, mainly from the binder. I freaking hated the binder. When I ordered it, it fit me perfectly but I ordered it like two months in advance. At the time, I was like one month on T, so I was like still tiny. And then over two months, I just like gained all this like muscle mass. And so though it fit my chest, it was like tight in other places, like around my shoulders and like like, many dudes don't have, like, traps already, but I had traps. I just was wishing I was a twink for, like, two weeks because I couldn't, like, strap my thing all the way and, like, my binder all the way and it was shoving up my armpits and my drains were in there and I was like, ah, it hurt so bad and it left, like, really gnarly bruising and it cut into me, it cut into my stomach. So the binder hurt more than the surgery. Like, it even pinched my skin so like it there's like blood and scabs very painless experience super freaking easy easiest thing ever just rolled in had my surgery was real quick got out woke up and then i was just like having a ball with the nurses i was just like i don't know why i started talking about myself like nobody really cares about me if, if you have anxiety over this process like that is totally understandable because I like went in super anxious but just know that you're in good hands and that the people at the hospital are trying to take care of you and it's simple you know you just go to sleep and then you wake up and you're like ha no titties new me yeah it's great <laughs>